Hello, Christina Rizzo. So thanks for tuning into this video. Hope you all are doing well. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video with your friends. Now, a lot of people have been talking about the backlash with Taylor Swift and her new album. Uh, it's supposed to be the torture of... What is this? Uh, yeah, tortured something. Tortured Ports Department. Okay. The reason this brought my attention because... So many of my brothers and sisters in Christ call themselves get so upset about this. And Satan is always busy. Of course, he's going to be against Christ. All right. When she, in, in one of her last albums, she, you know, why are you offended? Or uh, you need to calm it down. Because, uh, in Christianity, and, G and it, it, it's not about what Christians say, it's what Jesus himself said, that sodomy is an abomination. You lie with a woman like a man, You're, it, it's an abomination. So uh, that, that's usually why people get so upset about Christians, it, uh, amongst other things. Now, don't get me wrong, a lot of my brothers and sisters in Christ can be a little bit extreme. Yes, we sh should we judge as long as it's a righteous judgment? No problem, okay? But I wouldn't get myself so upset about this woman. I, when people make so much money, their pride gets in the way. And in church, we talked about that tonight. Uh, what a pastor did. How people can be prideful when they're not teachable, but yet you know, not able to receive or admit when they're wrong. So, uh, the, the, one of her videos is guilty. This, this is not really something. I, I already, you want to hear the whole video, just go to uh, CRN Talk Radio Channel 6 on Sunday at 5, and you can hear the whole live video. What, uh, not live, but the radio. It's all pre-recorded. What I, the complete article according to the Christian Post. Why Christians are so upset and getting themselves on an uproar, that's fine. All you got to do if you have children, just say, oh, I don't want you to listen to this person. All right. So one of her songs is Guilty of Sin. And she sings, what if I roll the stone away? Okay, she's mocking Christ's resurrection. They're going to crucify me anyway. Okay, apparently she doesn't understand the gospel completely why an innocent man like the Lord <laughs> died for our sins in the first place. So this is all ignorance altogether. That's why I don't understand why Christians are so upset. What if the way you hold me is the actual way what's holding? Okay, she's this is her way of defending the rainbow community. And then we got a few brothers and sisters that are defending and getting themselves upset, including a guy called Alan Alex Clark from Turning Point USA podcast called, and he has a podcast called The Spoil Over Spill Over, excuse me, uh, where he launches the pop culture of Popolix. Okay, and I'm guessing he's one of those. I don't know, liberal type of people, okay? But um, I wouldn't get myself all worked up about this. Usually when people make money, Katy Perry is the same way. These people, they were never Christians in the first place. Growing up in a Christian home, knowing better, and because they choose to rebel against their parents and do whatever they want, and they get to make their own money, by the grace of God is why they are famous in the first place. And even breathing oxygen, okay? They decide to get rebellious and act ignorant. So it's the same as this this person. I wouldn't get myself all worked up. If I really wouldn't. I and I would. I'm telling this with any other believer. I hear people blaspheme the name of the Lord. They do it in front of me, and I know them. I'll correct them. They do it in a movie. It's not funny. They even got some YouTube channel about 
Bible verses, the funniest Bible verses. Oh, where my, my, my Bible is over there. So I'm going to finish uh, reading uh, God Will and uh, Nehemiah before I go to bed. If I don't finish it, you know, because I haven't read the word all day because I've been so busy back and forth. They're mocking God, and the Lord is not moved because he's the creator, and he can take us out if he wants to. So I can understand being upset of someone you love, but a person like Taylor Swift is irrelevant. They even got her genre wrong. She's supposed to have been some country singer, and she got some pop thing going on. Don't get me wrong. There are a couple of them like Shake It Off. I didn't like that song okay i think lover was another one but uh other than that i'm not just i'm one of those girls that just gonna run out and just buy her you know i'm too old for all the nonsense anyway because i grew up in the 80s and 90s i'm a gen x so if i want to listen to some old school movies uh the songs i'll just go to youtube and do it i don't need to be running out and say oh please like me no if you're a Christian parent, you don't want your fa your kids to listen to her, then just don't buy to spend your money. All right? That's all I got to say about this, you know. Um, you know, I, in my last video, uh, thank you for the Candace Owens co uh, Catholic conversion. Got over 150 views. So that means over 150 people heard the gospel of Jesus Christ. Christina Rezzo, thanks for listening. Pray for our nation, our brothers and sisters under the persecuted church. And as I ended in number six, the Lord bless you, keep you, and may his light shine upon you. And I'll talk to you as soon as the Lord wills it.